Hello everyone, I'm Jodie from Stay At Home Mum. It's been ages since I've done a recipe video, so I thought I would crack one out today. We are doing condensed milk cake. Now, this cake is very decadent and very rich and very moist. Um, there's a couple of things you need to worry about. It's easy to put together, but it's also very easy to burn. So make sure you keep an eye on the oven with this one. So you set your oven at 175 degrees Celsius, 20 less if you've got fan forced, and then you just chuck all your ingredients in. So very first is a cup of plain flour. You can sift it if you want. I'm not gonna worry about that. So just sort of throw it in. Yep, close enough is good enough. Uh, half a teaspoon of baking powder, even though it's got baking powder in it. Oh, it's a newbie. It um, still doesn't rise all that much. So just be careful with that one. So half a teaspoon. Okay, um, 50 grams of butter and you have to do this melted. So just stick that on it. So just put it in the ding oven for about 10 seconds, like 50 grams. And is that close? No, oh, miles off. And that will melt it nicely, but any more than that and you'll have nice splatter in your microwave. But we do have something on the website for cleaning it. So there you go. Oh, what is it? 39. 53, that, that'll do. So I'm just going to ding this for 10 seconds. I'll be right back. Oh! Okay, that's nice and melted. Now just throw it in. Next, four eggs. So just chuck those in. The good thing about this, you don't have to worry about wet and dry ingredients, which is really handy. Um, you also need to um, butter your tin beforehand. Um, I just grab a little bit of butter and use my fingers. If you're a princess, you can get some baking paper to do that, but you know, just go on, throw it all in. Get hands on. So just get right into the corners. Um, this cake is notoriously sticky, so if you don't grease your tin really, really well, it's gonna stick. Come on! But then you can make cake pops, so there's always there's always a a good thing at the end. Okay. So that's enough. Okay. So next, let's wash my hands. So the next thing is the condensed milk, which is the best bit. So you're just going to throw the whole tin in. So crack it open. Oh, one of the five food groups, along with gravy. Honeycomb. Oh, there's a few others, but this one's my favourite. Make sure you have it like a little bit at the end just for you. You deserve it. Okay. Mmm. Yummy. Oh, Jesus, that went down the wrong way. <laughs> Don't do that. Okay. <laughs> Next. You just beat it till it's all together. So, oh, it's getting a little bit everywhere. So you want to give it three or four minutes. No longer than that because otherwise it'll turn into a brick. And we don't.
and throw it into your cake tin. Uh, you can use a traditional circle 18 centimetre. Um, it does turn out quite flat, as I said before, it doesn't rise that much. So this time I'm going to put it in a loaf tin so that we get a little bit more of a substantial cake. But another option is you can make a double batch. So now, as I said before, make sure you keep an eye on the oven with this recipe. It's not the sort that you can just throw in and then forget about it and set the timer. Um, depending on how hot or cold your oven is. It can burn really easy, so keep an eye out. So then we're just going to pop it in. So the condensed milk cake's ready. This one took about 35 to 38 minutes in the oven. So loaf cakes are slightly different to the circle ones, but just keep an eye on it. So hopefully this will come out. Knowing my luck, it'll just like turn into a great big lump. Hang on. Come on. Hang on. Now this is the time that I kind of regret not buttering it a little better. I just grab a little bit of butter and use my fingers. If you're a princess you can get some baking paper to do that. Oh. Come on, you bastard. Anyway, serve it with a little bit of icing sugar on top. It'll be just bloody beautiful. Condensed milk cake. Grease it better. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Puff. Oh, that. So there you go. Um, you can serve it with uh, cream cheese icing. Got a recipe below or mock cream icing. Grab the recipe here um, or just dust it with a little bit of icing sugar. I'll, I'll just grab a knife so that you can see what it looks like on the inside because that's what it's all about. Beautiful. See, as you can see, it is quite dense be even nice with a slab of butter. So, um, yeah, condensed milk cake, bloody delicious, easy to make, freeze as well, winning. Oh, that's nice. Okay, thanks everyone.